What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are playing Flutter Island Revival 2. So I played the first one about a week ago, I believe, and I thought it was a really enjoyable creepypasta. And it even took control of my mouse, which, unironically, creeped me the fuck out. But, we got the second one here. I've never played the second one. I've played Flutter Island 2, the original. But this is Flutter Island Revival 2. So we're going to open this up. And what are we going to get into? Let's find out. Windows protected your P... Ugh. Who cares? Luna Game Fan 06. That's the Game Jolt creator. Her account will be linked in the description. Go check her out. Okay. I, I have no idea what that was. But, uh, enter. Woohoo! So cute. Welcome to Flutter Island. Hold the arrow keys to move and press up arrow key to jump. Hold shift to run. Okay. Alright, where's the shit? Where's the scares? I'm, I'm ready. I also, I turned the volume up to 85 instead of 75 because I felt like I wasn't feeling anything. We're going back! Fuck that, man. Fuck that. I, I don't know how to feel. I think it did that on purpose. All I hear is heartbeats. That's all I'm hearing. My mouse! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Stop it, mouse! <laughs> it's doing it again, man! Fuck! I got goosebumps all over my fucking arm, man. Holy shit. Hey, <laughs> found you. Did you? I didn't know this. I have a big surprise for you. What is this big surprise you speak of? No, please stop. You ready? No, I'm not ready. No. Yeah, I'm not ready. Three, two... One. Oh. What have you done? Finally. I've turned you into a monster. No more of your friends. Although it's the wrong your. Now it is only us. We're going to have so much fun! Are we? Won't we? Stop it with the mouse! It's old! You got me the first time! The rest of it, I was expecting this shit! My question is... I, I still got goosebumps. I have... It's not as bad on my... Okay, I still do got goosebumps on my arms, man. Hi! Can I, can I do anything? I don't know how to feel- Stop the mouse! <laughs> okay, that was it. I- I- you guys- I don't know if you guys can see it, but I got in the vast ad saying- Enjoy Flutter Island Revival 2.exe without interruptions. Which means that was that. 
Now, there was a one thing in particular that freaked me out that I saw, but you didn't see. Okay? Like, yeah, it took control of the mouse, started making the mouse go whoosh all over the fucking screen. I, I was ready for that. After the first game, when it freaked me the fuck out, I, I was prepared. I had it down. I was ready. But the one thing that really freaked me out, I don't know what it was. I think I might have been spamming a button or something. But, like, on my keyboard, not my keyboard I have attached, because I have an RGB keyboard that I bought from uh, Wish. It, it's pretty medium quality, I'd say. But I still have my laptop keyboard, which the buttons don't light up anymore. But the enter button, whenever I hit, like, caps lock, it lights up blue, right? I never hit the caps lock. And suddenly it lit up blue, and it was going on and off rapidly so fast that it's like it wasn't turning off, but it was glitching. That was very surreal. That felt so strange. It wasn't like the mouse. It felt, I don't know if that was the game doing it, or maybe my computer's reaction to the game. I have no idea. But nonetheless... An enjoyable creepypasta game. Once again, I had lots of fun playing this. I love creepypasta games. Honestly, in 2012 and 2013, when I got into creepypasta, I, I have a shit ton of fun playing creepypasta games and even reading them or hearing people read them on YouTube. And I'm going to do whatever it takes to try to get as much creepypasta content on this channel. Maybe not 24-7 like every single video has creepypastas in it, but I'm going to try to have videos lots of them in the future prepared of me playing creepy pasta games not gonna lie though the goosebumps went away but they were there man they were there and uh that was some spooky shit although the jump scares i, I kind of expected a shit ton of jump scares because you know creepy pasta games when you go into those a lot of creepy pasta games are so loaded with jump scares like, after I played um, The Spell, which was another creepypasta game I played, I, I think I have to, like, get myself ready whenever I go into these games to prevent myself from yelling or screaming or just simply jumping out of unexpected fright. So I, I was prepared. I mean, I didn't expect that when they were going to show up 100%, but I was ready. I, I was ready for them. But yes, this was Flutter Island Revival 2. It'll be linked in the description, along with uh, the Luna Game fan creator, you know, the one who made this revival version of Flutter Island. Go check her out on Game Jolt. She makes some pretty sick games. Um, and you could check out Flutter Island Revival and her other creepypasta re-uploads, too. Or not even re-uploads, re, um, remakes or revivals or whatever you want to call it, really. But yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And that's all i got to say. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.